I've come to Victoria Park in Canton and Cardiff. I haven't been for ages, probably not since the pandemic actually, and I'm just interested to see if it's changed at all. So do you want to come and have a look and see how it is with me? Come on, let's go. Do excuse the weather. It is raining on and off. The forecast lied, quite frankly. It is early February. It's actually Valentine's Day today as I film this. And the reason I mention that is not because there's like love in the air for me or anything, any more than usual, of course, um, but just it's, there's not a lot of greenery going on. But we do have a sign of spring coming up though, heralding warmer weather and hopefully a better summer than the last two. I'm optimistic for it anyway. This is still here, look, that's been there since my childhood. In fact, it's moved, I think, but it was in the park. Oh, those are pretty. It says keep dry on it. I'm trying. <laughs> There's a huge children's play area here, which is very lovely. And it looks the same as the last time I was here. I think something's gone out of it. I'm sure there was a big rampy thing you used to be able to walk up, which I thought was great for my tot at the time. But anyway, let's have a little look, see what we can see. Got the obligatory aerial runway here. Nobody on at the moment. Some swings. I did this the other day, you know, in Roth Park. And like then, it was raining on and off, so it was a really good time to film the kids' play area because there weren't any kids in there. There are actually some in here, but I'll film around them. So yeah, bucket swings. And here, where there used to be a paddling pool, there's now a splash pad. Not in use at the moment, of course, because they are seasonal, these ones, aren't they? They're good fun. You can tell it needs a good clean up, but it's the wrong time of year. Look at that, that's a scary spider, that one. My boyfriend wouldn't like that one. He's terrified of spiders. There's a cafe, well, a serving hatch over there. Look, there's ice creams and things. Obviously closed at the moment. You can get seriously dizzy in these things, can't you? I'm just getting dizzy looking at it, to be honest. Over here, we've got those balancing thingies. I've got a feeling we've got something missing out of this one. Whoa. <laughs> That's too much to do and vlog at the same time, looking through the monitor. It's one of those safer things than the witch's hats, look. Nobody gets crushed in that one. Spins. Rocking motorbike. And for the younger children, one of these things. Oh, look at that climbing wall. That's about my level, that is. I'm rubbish at that sort of thing. But yeah, look at that. Super fun for the little ones. Little slide. Oh, slightly bigger slide. We've got two separate play areas, you see, so the sort of more junior kids would be in this one and the little ones in this one, so hopefully it's kind of safer for them. Another slide here, a bit bigger again. And what have we got here? A little activity station, look, pretend car by the look of it. Oh, it's these talking tube things. They love these, don't they? There's another one, of course, like it somewhere else with an interconnecting pipe underground. Let's have a look at the bigger play area before we move on to the rest of the park. There we are, look. It's a bit of a challenge to get up onto that one, especially if you're a bit smaller. I did used to come here with Isabel, my daughter, when she was very little because my parents lived nearby. I didn't, but we would stay with them a lot. So this was kind of one of our local parks in a way. And yeah, this one presented quite the challenge getting up there. Your foot kept slipping down. And of course, she'd need an adult to follow her up as well. <laughs> Likewise, this was a bit of a challenge. We've changed a lot over the years, haven't they? The design in play equipments. I'm quite interested in it, actually. Anyway, climbing wall. Look, climbing thing. <laughs> Those things used to give me a total heart attack when my child was on them. I was a bit of a hoverer, I will admit. <laughs> that spins around. And of course you got the uh, the slide. Bit wet today. Big long row of swings here. There's a load more there as well. And this swing here is rather special, I think. I can testify it's quite comfortable because I've been in it. <laughs> right, on we go.
I've done a gig in this park. Just every, almost everywhere I go, I'm like, oh yeah, I've done a gig there. <laughs> they um they used to, they probably still do, have open air gigs in the summers free, just for people to come along and we played. I don't know if it was the same building. I think it might have been knocked down and rebuilt. I'm really not sure, but we played here. But anyway, <laughs> well, I think this is a toilet block. That's why I'm just looking, so then I can tell you. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, I think so. That kind of looks toilety. I don't know. <laughs> I think it does. Yes. Oh, and they're open as well. Good to know. Want a little bowl there for doggies to have a drink. Nice. Oh, there's Billy the seal. Let's go and have a look at Billy the seal. This part used to be a zoo pre-date in my lifetime <laughs> uh, I'm not sure it might have been the late 1800s or 1900s I tell you what I'll put it on the screen when this was a zoo because I don't know off the top of my head but they had a seal where is old Billy now Billy turns out to be a girl you know they didn't find out until well her post-mortem shall we say Billy the Seal, resident of Victoria Park Lake, 1912 to 1939, sculpted by David Peterson. It's lovely, isn't it? I like the way they mounted it on a big rock as well, because, you know, seals would be on a rock rather than a plinth, wouldn't they? Don't you agree, Billy? Yes. I've heard all sorts of funny stories about Billy the Seal, but I don't know if any of them are true. I'm pretty sure I once heard that Billy the Seal got onto a tram and went into town, but probably made up. <laughs> I don't know if you know any to let me know in the comments below i'm so happy the sun has come out mama's place is well and truly shut at the moment but i have bought ice creams from there in the past i used to spend a great deal of time in this park as a child because my best friend lived over there in one of those houses so we'd spend day after day after day engaged in imaginative play lost in our own little world of our own making girls in space was a favorite there's a funny looking tree there, isn't it? It'd be nicer to see it in bloom, really. I might come back later in the year and film it with its leaves and blossom on. Assuming it has blossom, I've got a feeling it does. come to the playing field here at the top end. So peaceful, isn't it? Apart from me yabbering on, of course. You can tell when a park's been here a long time because the trees are very mature and big. <laughs> there was another dog in that exact spot just now doing exactly the same thing as that. I wonder what's there. Oh, it's probably something icky, isn't it? <laughs> Hopefully there's no nasty surprise awaiting the owner now on the dog's coat. I can see a big shock of purple up ahead there. Crocuses! <laughs> Nearly had my eye out then. <laughs> the houses at this end are so beautiful, aren't they? Great big semi-detached ones. And we got tennis courts as well. Cardiff Beach Volleyball. What? Oh, I saw these yellow things from over there and I was wondering what they were. Oh, well, I never, I did not expect to see beach volleyball in Victoria Park. There's someone over there practicing getting balls over the net. There's actual sand in there, look. Oh, how cool. There's a bandstand by there. Oh, I was going to climb up into it to show you. I don't think it's locked. I could probably step over it, to be honest. <laughs> I've got a camera bag in the way. It's obstructing my leg. There we are. Handy places to meet in the pandemic, these have been. Oh, I've done quite a few meets under bandstands. Freezing, <laughs> but semi sheltered. No good for the sideways rain, though. Did 
typical, isn't it? Now I'm just leaving the park. The sun's come out. That's about it for Victoria Park, to be honest. But I'm thinking I'm only a stone's throw from Thompson's Park, so I might as well go there next. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, could you please give it a like? It really helps this little channel to grow. I really appreciate that. If you're new here and would like to follow more of my life here in South Wales, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.